Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Uh, let me start today by thank you, by thanking you all because of yesterday's um, feedback. I've the the feedback on the video I uploaded yesterday has been extremely good. I had um, you know the the views went um, through the roof and also the comments and everyone is uh, thanking me for uh, the great content i've been providing so that makes me very happy i would like to thank you all for supporting the channel supporting my work and also uh, tell you that the kind of feedback i got yesterday is what makes me go further and continue to produce uh, good content for you guys i would also like to say that this channel will continue to be um, leverage trading exchanges uh, shielding free so i'm not going to accept any kind of sponsorship from those exchanges that um, like to take people's money and um, you can count on me to continue producing good content without that kind of sponsorship so that's a promise I'm making uh, to you guys. Any sponsorship in the future will not, if that happens, will not have um, any origin in those kinds um, of exchanges. So uh, that said, let's go directly to the charts. And we will start as usual with the price to time model. So let's see what the charts tells us okay here we are so we had a rough last week we closed uh, in the red below the uh, all-time high that we had this previous week that closed on monday we now started a new week just yesterday uh yeah today is tuesday i'm just checking sometimes i just uh, uh, mix up all the days of the week <laughs> so uh, today is Tuesday. We started a new week yesterday. Uh, it started on the green, but quickly turned out to be a red week so far. So let's see where this is going to take us. But however, there's no emergency whatsoever in the markets. We are just going sideways. It's probable uh, we will have probably just a retracement as usual, as many others we had in the past. This is still a bull market. This is still a bull market. So uh, in order for us to consider having flipped to a bear market, I would have to see a weekly candle close below this green line here, which is a 20 period moving average. And that did not happen. Also, there are no indications that we are turning bearish right now. So regarding the price to time model this is everything i have to say just one more uh, i forgot to mention one more point here so basically we continue below the exponential curved line of the rectangle which means that we are not overextended to the upside we are now in a price structure which is healthy and sustainable so i'm expecting of course uh, some retracements on this rise on this bull cycle of course guys just notice that we never touched the 20 period moving average since the bull run started and this is an amazing uh, thing that bitcoin never did in the past we always had bull cycles where the weekly candles used to touch the uh, 20 period moving average it didn't happen this time yet so i'm expecting that it could happen in the future it will be probably the you know a very normal thing to happen so a weekly candle just to close or touch the 20 period moving average and continuing the bull cycle to the upside so so far there is absolutely no emergency no strange moves for bitcoin nothing indicating that we are starting a bear market so that's it for the price to time model let's check the mri and i will start with the weekly uh, the weekly chart as you guys can see this has been my first line of support as a trend line this white line going up right here we had since the start of the bull cycle we had one touch one crossover another touch and 
we had this during the MRI top, of course, on this week. And then we exponentially rose to the upside again. And now we had another one and two touches on my trend line. There is absolutely no indication that we are going to cross to the downside of this trend line. And only if that happens, I will consider uh, analyzing again if we could possibly start in a bear market. So, so far, so good. Nothing indicates a bear market. You guys can be, um, you know, don't need to be uh, all crazy about the price action. Uh, to me, this is completely normal. We didn't lose any kind of supports yet. The trend line is here. We touched it once and twice. Just look at that. I'm going to zoom in really big. We had a small, small, small crossover the trend line, which went back up immediately. And then we had a small touch there. If you guys can see, it didn't even cross the white line. So this was just a touch of the weekly candle and then it went back up again. So I admit it's possible that we can continue to have a bit of a retracement, but so far we have no indications that the bear market is starting. Again, the RSI is just going sideways. We left the overbought territory, so that is good. The thing that worries me a bit is this MACD on the weekly, and you guys can see that the lines are almost touching and the blue almost crossing the orange which i suppose that if we continue to have this um uh this retracement for some more time we could possibly see a bearish sign here on the weekly for the macd which so far has not happened so let's go quickly to the daily i don't want to make this video a very long one so the daily is you see the trend line here and the daily also shows that the trend line is supporting the price as it uh, has done in the past. We had a cross over a close, just a very, very small close below the trend line here, as you guys can see this candle, but immediately opened a new candle and went to the upside. And from there, it has been supporting the price very well. So I trust this trend line. The trend line, it was crossed over here again, as you've seen in the weekly chart. It touched on the daily here on this candle, which went back up again immediately. So I trust that this trend line is supporting the price very well and we might see some more touches in the future until we continue our bull cycle to the upside. Okay, so the uh, I see that the trend of the volume going down is, going, uh, is uh, losing momentum. So we are not, in the last few days, we have not been going down in volume anymore. We are just going sideways as the orange line indicates here. So probably we could see some uh, volume uh, increase in the next few days. And if that happens, that's a, a good sign that people are trading a lot more than the previous days and no one or at least less people are waiting on the sidelines. So I see that people are trying to buy the dip. They are trying to buy this trend line, this support here. And I believe the 50,000 uh, 51,000 level will support the price as you guys have seen so far. Uh, so let's go to the four hour chart and let's check, for example, the BitMEX funding rate, which is the four hour chart is good for that. So after that crazy, those crazy candles that we had here for the downside to the downside, we had the BitMEX funding rate overextended to the downside on negative territory but now we have crossed again to the uh, above the zero and we are now trading this is very small because of that bar there uh, it's not easy to see uh, these bars here because in comparison they are very small so this is 0.05 we are at 0.05 percent which is a good uh, funding rate it's not overextended, not above my threshold of 0 0.11. And the four hour shows us that we have been testing this trend line for some times already, uh, sometimes already. And we crossed it once, we touched it once, we went up back, uh, back up again. Then we touched it 
a second third time a fourth time and now we are going back up again the problem is we are being rejected by this level here of the 57 and 500 which was the previous resistance that the price action found or uh, i have seen in the charts and also the bottom side of the triangle is now uh, acting as resistance and rejected the price back down uh, so we still have the order of the moving averages correct except the green one which is the 20 period and that one crossed all the three others to the downside however the yellow is still above the red and the red above the purple so this is not very very strong uh, bearish uh, uh, sign uh, we should continue to range a bit more here probably retest the trend line again and i will start to look at this with a more critical eye if we buy some uh, crazy uh, event cross to the downside of this trend line and close at least a daily candle closing below the trend line then i will start to evaluate other options okay so let's go i'm not going to check the one hour now i want to have a quick video just to analyze bitcoin price action today let's go to the uh, pro indicators framework so i'm on the daily here i usually show this on the four hour but as you guys can see i i want to have a better view of what is happening on the uh, bigger uh, schema of things so i'm going to change back to the one day uh, to the daily chart and as you guys can see we formed a new first range boundary here as soon as we uh, the price action went for a new all-time high we crossed this third range boundary line which was around here and then let me just zoom in a bit and then we formed a new first range boundary immediately followed by a second range boundary which is not confirmed yet because the dashed line for the third range boundary is exactly that a dashed line and not filled yet so this means that we could still see some downside action probably one of the options would be to have a second range boundary a bit lower than that which would invalidate this one and then uh probably on the halfway of the channel of the context channel that is one of the possibilities another possibility is we can go up from here and form a third range boundary around the area of resistance of the previous third range boundary so this is one of the options uh the other one is a third range boundary a bit up where you could possibly take some profit and start to uh you know from your trading positions you should take some profit if we, if we form a third range boundary here because the market is showing a bit of less momentum than before so let me just quickly go to the four hours and you can see this in a bigger or uh, zoomed in way so what happens here in the four hour is you have the context channel which is the gray area that you see above the price action and below the price action the first range boundary or the all-time high was in this case rejected by the resistance context this gray area above the price then we immediately went down we had this craziness of the fud of that tweet and uh, all the weak hands that uh, started to sell bitcoin and the cascading liquidation of all the longs uh 8 billion if i'm not mistaken from the previous video 8 billion dollars were liquidated then we went textbook maneuver here we went to the bottom of the support uh context we retraced in the meantime back up i'm expecting that this could form a new low for the second range boundary at least closer to the area of the trend channel which is the green zigzag you see here which now is going to the downside also the red zigzag here is the top of the trending channel which is also coming to the downside so i'm expecting that the price will range in between these two lines here the green and the red and probably we could one of the options is we could form a second range boundary below the current one which is not confirmed yet so there's a possibility we could have a very extended to the downside second range boundary and then a quick move to the upside looking for a third range boundary probably breaking the third range boundary breakout line of the previous one and going a bit 
more to the upside. So guys, don't forget, if we are forming a second range boundary below the current one, that could mean we can go to some areas like 46k to 48 or 49k. If that happens, you should probably go long there. It's a very good opportunity to go long because I'm expecting that if we go below this second range boundary, this provisional second range boundary so far, that will make the price action explode to the upside again because there's a lot of people on the side lines trying to buy this dip. So don't forget that if the price action comes back down here, this is a very good speculation area to go long. And if the price continues to go up and is rejected around this area, we could probably take some profit some uh, to, to be in some cash instead of having your entire portfolio in Bitcoin and just uh, prepare for the future. Because if you take some profits, it doesn't mean that you are going to sell all your Bitcoin. It just means that you can have some cash on the side and start to think about this range that is now starting to form here, which is not a mit, uh, mature range yet. So let me just give you, uh, not to be uh, a very long video, let me just give you one of the areas of interest for me would be, <coughs> let me go to the daily, which is, we can see better. So the area of interest is here, in my opinion, this is my area of interest and if the price comes down here to this area that could start around uh, let me just put the box a bit uh, yeah 44 and a half to 48 so this would be a very nice a very nice speculation uh, area for longing bitcoin if that happens that's good if we go up and cross the third range bound the previous third range bound breakout line that would be also a good take taking profit area don't forget guys don't trade in between this area and that area because that's a dump zone this is just ranging and you don't know no one knows what will happen next this is a 50 50 probability of going to the upside or going to the downside so this is a no trade area you should wait be patient and try to see, uh, try to uh, wait for the price to tell you what to do. If the price action comes down here, this is a good area to go long. If the price goes up there, it's a good area to take profit and try to prepare for the future because you don't know what's going to happen after the third range boundary. So this is my analysis for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me just go back here. Stop the screen share. My computer is a bit crazy today. <laughs> okay, so guys, uh, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, uh, this uh, analysis of today. I'm trying to make the videos very brief, trying to tell you what's the best uh, course of action for the short term, also for the long term. So keep in mind, we have uh, several possibilities, but we are exactly in the middle of those possibilities right now. This is a no trade zone. Don't trade the ranges. Wait for the range to become mature. When you have some indications on the downside, you can go long. On the upside, you can take profit. And that's what you should think right now. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Again, for the previous video, this was amazing. The reactions I got, the feedback, and I hope to see you all again on the next one. Before I close the video, don't forget, gently touch the like button if you enjoyed the content, share with your friends, and let's grow the community. Thank you very much, and see you on the next one.